All right, here we go. We got a best of five, a couple French players. Matt is a goat. There we go. Nui's in the chat letting us know. Matt is going to start this series off taking an early lead. Now, Matt is a player for La Masia. He's 19 years old. And so, not necessarily super young, at least in the in the Rocket League space. We know Rocket League gets pretty young. Flaco will punish the over-aggression. But, Matt is a, like a, a newer player, um, at least at the highest level. I'm sure Matt's been on the grind for a while. But had their first appearance um, this season in... RLCS. The match was supposed to be Nico. That's correct. Unfortunately, Nico hasn't responded, so we just wanted to find somebody else um, and make sure we got a match. And Matt stepped in. So we appreciate Matt jumping in there. Sometimes that happens. You know, especially, and I, you know, I'll say this uh, Nico is super young, 15. So sometimes these players, you know, they have things come up with their family. And, you know, when you're obviously that young, you don't really have a whole lot of say in things. Uh, this is not the first time something like that's happened. It probably won't be the last. But first, we appreciate Matt stepping in. Second, we appreciate Flaco because Flaco actually messaged Matt. Got it all hooked up. And now we're here. Ultimately, we just wanted to watch some high-level Rocket League, and that's what we get. Matt with the ceiling challenge. Going to be enough to stop Flaco there in the midfield. Both players on zero, so they peel away and pick up the big pads. Flaco does maintain possession. Lands a demo as well, so he'll continue this attack. And he gets the flick past him, tied it up. 2-2. Two -two. Now Flaco on the other side is another young French player. Currently 18, and uh, you know a similar situation to Matt on their you know on their journey to the top, and just recently finding their way into main event. Now they didn't make this last open qualifier for RLCS, but they they uh, they did make the one before. So a couple players here that have popped into RLCS throughout this 2024 season. And, you know, the thing is, on, uh, you know, on this channel, I think that's really what it's all about. Hold on. Flip reset. He was hoping for the bump. Not going to find it, so Flaco will equalize on the counterattack. But I was saying, that's that's really what it's all about here. You know, we're, we're looking to find some up-and-coming players, maybe find some players that... Uh, don't have the opportunity to play matches on sh on streams like Fear or Johnny. Keep tabs on the next wave of Rocket League talent. Little mistake there from Matt. Unable to push that across the goal line. So Flaco with possession has the reset. Oh! Holds it a little bit, delays things, uses the dodge, and the follow-through of the dodge actually dunks it in. Nice play from Flaco. Low and slow, Matt absorbs the low 50. And forces it through. That's going to get another on the following kickoff. And he's reclaimed the lead. And if this game one is any indicator of what's to come, I think we're going to have a back and forth battle between these two.
Still two minutes to play. Plinko will take possession. Matt up off the ceiling. Baits the early challenge. Falls his way back down to the ground. Flaco gets the necessary touch. Misses the boost. He's going to have to turn his back and get into shadow defense. A critical touch there to keep that shot out and hold Matt at five. Flaco, bounce dribble. Patience here in the attacking end. Composure from Matt as well on the goal line. Both players exhibiting some patience. Matt with the resource advantage, keeps it close. Puts Flaco in an awkward position, but ultimately Flaco's up to the challenge defensively. Matt secures all the boosts on his rotation back. Begins an air dribble from his back wall. We'll catch it right there at the midfield line. Looks for the air dribble bump, no contact. Flaco does well to keep that out. 45 seconds and Matt holds on to possession, pulls things back to his own corner. Aggressive dive from Flaco. But he can't dispossess Matt just yet. Now he's got an opportunity. Flip reset. Baits the flip reset and goes underneath. Matt was worried about the early flick, but it never came. 23 seconds, and we're tied up. Flaco has a possession, rips a shot, just testing the defense of Matt. He's kept it locked in the orange half. Final press here, Flaco with the catch. Oh! Looks to slow things down. But Matt had the goal line covered. Big win on the kickoff. Flaco secures the corner boost, but Matt clears it away. Takes over possession. Oh, that's a bad touch from Flaco, and Matt will punish. OT in game one. Matt will take it. Matt, up one in the series, but a tight game one. See if he can create any separation in game two and move forward to match point. Shows flip reset, holds it for the wave dash catch as he comes to the ground. Flaco falling off the goalpost there, just couldn't get down quickly enough. Matt works it to the near side. He's got his first in game two. Another possession for Matt. Shot straight away. It's good to the far side. Standard air dribble for, for Flaco. Not going to be enough to get past Matt. Both players still low boost. The diving save from Matt. Enough to keep that out. The long clear is good. Matt, a 3-0 lead. waiting until the final moment to commit to that save. Matt there for the rebound. He's got a fourth. Lots of time left. Blanco's going to have to make some adjustments. Should be able to secure the corner boost. Actually, that's just going to roll its way in. Blanco gets his first.
Another possession to follow. Matt has some time and space. Full tank of boost. He goes high. Instead of a full commit on the flip reset, just prioritize the recovery. It looks like it was wise to do so as the counterattack is good. Matt has a fit. That shot is high. He's got to get back quick. Flaco has a counterattack. Sent the shot wide. And he's going to have to back off the defense. That was a good scoring opportunity for Flaco. And he just couldn't put it home. And Matt will turn things around and do exactly what Flaco should have done on the counterattack. You know, I said earlier there's plenty of time left. And there's still, really, there still is. But... It just feels like Matt has full control of the game. He's one step ahead, decision-making wise. And as far as mechanics and execution, Matt is not making mistakes. There's a good play from Flaco. Calm and collected. Just controls the 50-50 and guides it in for his second. Big challenge win. Can Flaco get this on target? Yes, he does. Critical counterattack there. Now he's cut the lead down to three. With two minutes to play, this is much more doable for Flaco. Gonna follow it up. He's got a fort. That's a good win from Flaco. Unfortunately, the next play was... Oh, no. Now he's compounding mistakes. That launch from the ceiling did him no favors. He tried to recover. But unfortunately, wasn't able to make the touch. Matt will counterattack the other way. There's an opportunity. Flaco turns it in. Got 63 seconds left. Got another possession. Early reset. Holds the dodge. Does use it effectively. But Matt's defense, too strong. Keeps the shot out. And... It's a the counterattack goal. 50 seconds left. Three goal deficit for Flaco. The delay kickoff. That's tough. It's a bit wide. He's going to try to corral this on target as quickly as possible. He does well there. Flaco gets a sixth. He's giving himself some time. That's a good kickoff win. He'll secure this midfield boost. 
And that is such an intelligent touch from Matt. Just throws it up high into the corner. He knows that Flaco just cannot shoot that ball. Wasting precious time on the clock. Flaco off the ceiling. An aggressive and ambitious dive. But he will be rewarded for it. Hold on, Matt, with a quick recovery. He's back in time for the save. And that shot is not going to be enough. Matt holds on. A valiant effort from Flaco. Certainly recovered. But just too big of a deficit to overcome. Matt up 2-0 in the series. Game three. Can Matt secure the sweep? Or do we play on? Fake kickoff to start game number three. Matt. Grabs a possession, wins the 50-50, and sends in his first for game three. Another possession, the following kickoff, Flaco on low boost. He will push this out to the midfield. Oh, and that is a mistake from Matt. He left the corner boost, and he will immediately be punished. And this is, the, this is the margin of error. This is all it takes. If Matt had picked up that corner boost, he would most likely have, at the very least, not conceded and probably would have been scoring on the other end of the field. And, it, you know, obviously he didn't need that boost. He was full. But it's not about whether he needed it or not. It was about keeping it away from his opponent. And now Flaco with a big challenge win on the blue half. It's going to get a second. And take a lead in game three. Nice play from Flaco. Couldn't immediately accelerate it on target. So takes his time, lands the flip reset, wrong foot's Matt. And then just puts in a basic shot from inside the orange box. He's got a third. Lots of time left to play. We'll see how Flaco handles this lead. He's got the resource advantage, double flip reset towards the target. But lacking power, now Matt will take over. He's going up this left wall. Reset for Matt. He's going to use it for the recovery. Blako knew he had the boost advantage. Just forces Matt to rush here in the midfield. Blako gets a fourth. Ronsky, appreciate the raid, man. Thank you so much. Hope the stream went well. Thank you for bringing the team over. Early flick from Flaco. Easily handled by Matt. Now flick to the other side. Back and forth here in the middle of the field. Matt back to his own side. Full tank of boost. Flaco... Just caught in between decisions. Couldn't decide if he was going to push forward or turn his back and play shadow defense. Oh, you know what? That actually wasn't indecision. That was just a botched wave dash is what it was. I didn't see that until the replay. Flaco, a mistake in the middle of the field. It's going to cost him. Air dribble bump attempt. The threat of it is enough. Flaco with a fifth. Good 
setup from Matt. He goes near side. Blaco was maybe anticipating a flip reset flick to the back side of the net. But Matt works it underneath at the near post. He's got a third. What a 50 from Matt. Incredible defense. Flopping and flailing behind the ball. Another big challenge. And Matt is going to hustle this down to the blue side. He's got a fourth. That is overly aggressive. Matt sweeps into the corner for the boost steal, but Flaco doesn't need it. Just slams home a shot from the back corner. 6-4. Can Matt get this on target? He does. He's back within one. I almost choked. Matt wins the race to the midfield boost. Then rolls in a six. He's tied it up. Oh. A wrestle for the midfield boost. Matt comes away with it. Like, oh. Wins the challenge and puts the shot on target. He's got a seventh. Fifty-five seconds. Kickoff win for Flaco. Big bump from Matt. May have opened a lane straight to the target. It does. Matt has done such a good job this series of taking a bad situation and turning it into a good one. Both players delay kickoff. Blaco playing patiently as both of these guys are on low boost. And now he'll turn his back and turn over possession. 30 seconds left. Matt. 40 boost. Left side. And he puts the shot just over Flaco. Inside the final 30 seconds, Matt has the lead. As soon as he sees Flaco jump off the wall, he knows he is toast. Oh, that's a big kickoff win. That's going to run a lot of time off the clock. Even if Matt doesn't score. Flaco full tank. Got to play some defense here. Actually fakes that save, and Matt is doing such a wonderful job of keeping him pinned on defense in an awkward position. Great 1v1 IQ from Matt. He secures the sweep. 3-0.